Now to the big news right here in our area on that subject. President Trump also commuted the sentence of ex Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick. Current Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan just issued a statement on the decision and it reads in part Kwame Kilpatrick is a person of great talent who still has much to contribute. I know how close he is to his three sons and I could not be happier for them being together again. This is a decision President Trump got right end quote. Nick Monticelli joins us now with everything that we're learning. Good afternoon. There is a very important distinction that we need to make the difference between a pardon and a commutation. A pardon essentially wipes out the criminal history. In Kwame Kilpatrick's case, that's not the case. It is a commutation, simply cutting his sentence short. I knew that this was coming, and the last conversation that we had is that he told me that it was on his desk to be signed. State Representative Karen Witsett says she's known for days former Detroit Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick would be set free because President Trump told her so. She says she had a recent conversation with the president and it did not take much convincing. The former mayor had an unjust sentence and that he served enough time and that I'm happy for his family that he has gotten out and that he's able to spend time with his family now, which is where he should be. Whitsett is one of many who worked to free Kilpatrick, but there are others not happy about it. When talks of Kilpatrick being released early first surfaced, U.S. Attorney Matt Schneider said, my position on the disgraced former mayor of Detroit has not changed. Kwame Kilpatrick has earned every day he served in federal prison for the horrible crimes he committed against the people of Detroit. He is a notorious and unrepentant criminal. Kilpatrick has served only one quarter of the sentence that was very appropriately imposed. The word of President Trump commuting Kilpatrick's sentence came down overnight, but it is far different from a pardon. A pardon wipes out and forgives the crime. A commutation simply reduces the sentence. Kilpatrick will still have to pay the $1 million restitution he owes the city of Detroit. And under a law passed in 2010, Kilpatrick will not be allowed to run for any office until 2033. The unknown this afternoon is exactly when Kilpatrick will be released from federal prison. We have reached out to the Bureau of Prisons to find out, and we haven't heard back yet. I'm Nick Monticelli, Local 4.